Hey guys, I'm going through my uh, vinyl and I'm cleaning the poly bags and I normally normally don't like to uh, do this or watch this. Now I'm sure my friend right now is going, what the hell are you doing? But uh, I might as well show it while I'm putting it all back. Um, please newbies, put them in poly bags, remove the vinyl and uh, put them in generic sleeves and take your, your regular sleeve here and I'll leave them uh, alone. There's value in the sleeves as well. Uh, well, the older ones at least. Uh, if it's sealed, leave it sealed. Does it help uh, not having ring wear? I'm removing it and putting it in the generic sleeves. Sorry. Um, I think so. But uh, if you do that, a lot of people say you're going to get it anyway. Um, no, I don't believe that you will. Just don't stack them. I mean, I got these a lot of these stacked in the back. I got several other stacks here and the only reason they're like that is uh, I've told you before we have Storm. So uh, our memories of Elvis Volume 2, more of that pure Elvis sound. Did you like it? Put it down at the bottom. I thought it was alright. So right here you can see uh, that's that generic sleeve. I'm sorry, that generic uh, sticker that's in uh, Osborne's book. Uh, Joan Deary put that on. I have a picture of her doing it and signing another album that I have. It's a picture that I put on uh, Facebook a while back and it went shh, all over the place. I'm sure every one of you have seen it. Uh, Sue McCaslin is the one that took it. So let's look at the next one here. I can't show you the backs because all, all you'll see is the generic sleeves. Okay, the same album, but this one has got the, uh, the sticker, but well, rare and very expensive sticker on the top. Uh, this sticker alone is uh, $200, uh, says Osborne's, but I know it, it really is hard to find. It's very rare and you're going to pay a lot of money for it. Okay, I got a divider here. Um, Newbies, if you're going to collect a lot of vinyl, get these uh, dividers. You'll find out it's a lot easier to find what you want. And um, I also try to, uh, well, like this, Pickwicks. I mean, who really cares? But I put them all together, and I'm surprised that they're in here. Uh, almost in love, Pickwick. Let's be friends. I hope we're not going to have all Pickwicks. Okay, I'm surprised this is here as well. It's Elvis with a Philharmonic. I usually have this with all the other box sets. Uh, it's sealed. I'll never uh, open it. It's the deluxe package. Would make sure, I mean, deluxe. Just makes you uh, spend more, more money for it. What would you think about it? Did you like it? Okay, clam bake, and it should have the photo with it. Uh, years back, I took the photos. And I put it in a large three-ring uh, notebook that I have with all the other ones. And now slowly I'm putting them back in the records. I can't show you the back of this because uh, it's just the sleeve. Try to keep the sleeves, guys. If you don't get it, it's kind of fun to track them down. An LSP, Blue Hawaii. I always like that cover. The FTD, the very first FTD Blue Hawaii, was the same. That's the only album of FTDs that I have. I don't collect FTDs. And it's uh, it's weird because I guess it's the uh, most collectible, the, the most expensive. And uh, I got it for free. I got it from uh, Graceland. They sent it to me by mistake. I contacted them and told them, and they said just to keep it. And I don't collect them. I'm sorry, this is Rocker. If you buy a collection, I guarantee this is in it. Every single collection that I've ever got, uh, this is in it. There's that sticker on it that's worth basically nothing. But what a beautiful cover, though. This one's sealed. Yeah. There's the back. I thought maybe the date was on there. Elvis for everyone. It's got the re reprocessed sticker up at the top. This is LSP 3450. 
I always like that cover. This nipper, I got a big nipper of that. And there's the, the sleeve. Uh, like I said, I, I try to keep them together. This is the another LSP, but it's not reprocessed. Is it sealed? No. And here's the Best Buy of them. Um, I started to buy Best Buys, but it was kind of why. And uh, I try to keep the Best Buys together, and it's just got to the point where I mean, I don't have enough of them to keep them together. And I just thought, why? So I just kind of tried to keep them all together. But I, yeah, I'm still having a hard time. I, I always find records that are separate from where they should be. LSP 2765 of um, Golden Records, Volume 3. This one is open, the black and white sleeve. And here we go again. Here it is again. There you go. This is a stereo one. 1963. LSP of Elvis. Well, I haven't seen that for a while. See? Generic sleeve. I separate it. Okay, spin out. It should have the uh, photo in it. But uh, like I said, I've separated them all. I'm slowly putting them back in again. Uh, this is LSP 3702. Nice cover. Oh, I did. There it is. Now this is neat. Uh, Elvis sings Flaming Star. It's, this is a candom, obviously. CAS 2304. I've got so many Flaming Stars. It's another one of those uh, albums when you buy a, uh, a collection, it's always in it. But I bought that one only because, because of the sticker. Uh, Woolworths used to be like, uh, like a Sears, so I just had to buy it. 87 cents for a record. Now, for a record, you pay 30 to $40. I refuse. And here's another flaming star. And another flaming star. This is the brown label, and this is going to be the blue label. Something for everybody. Great song. I slipped, I stumbled, I fell. And there's the uh, sleeve. And I'm sure uh, I've got the vinyl in a generic sleeve in back of that. Let's just do a couple more here, and that's going to be it for at least this stack. Now it's going to be basically the same one, Frankie and Johnny. This was one of the first records that I bought at a, uh, a record show. You know, I love going to the record shows, and in the back, they've got a bunch of uh, vinyl in that that you wish that you could buy, but you just didn't have the money in your pocket. So... Uh, Damn, I know my buddy Grant again too. Just said to me that uh, he always you stand there and you look at it, and they come up to you and they say, "Is there something that I can take off of there?" And you just go, "No, I wish there was." Elvis, Frankie, and Johnny, and I think this is going to be another Frankie and Johnny. This is the one with the uh, big photo. Special bonus. What'd you think of the movie? I didn't think it was one of the greatest, but it was all right, I guess. And here's the photo in the back. Never really turned me on an artist rendition of it. I'm going through these quick, sorry. 
And another Frankie and Johnny. And that's the sleeve that should be wrote it with it. See, so I have another one of the photos that's uh, in that three ring notebook. So a lot of times I have uh, more than one. Okay, and this is the uh, Elvis Christmas. Obviously another Pickwick. So we started with a Pickwick, I think, like the third one in. And we're going to end it with a Pickwick. And we're going to go through this. And we're going to go through maybe three more stacks. So you guys all take care. Take care of your family. And don't forget to TCB for EAP.